Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata, where today, everyone, we are going to be trying to uh, at least start the war with our good friends of China. Um, now, China's war is going to require at least two big armies. I, I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll need anything else bigger than that. Two big armies should be about good, but two big armies where we're basically going to be invading China. For all intents and purposes, we're going to be invading China. And we're going to need as much as we can to go and take them out and take all the one province we need. Because, yeah, China has, usually has a big army. But right now, apparently, by what the standards say, we have a bigger army. Although, I don't know how accurate that is. Because sometimes this thing is really accurate and then other times it's really inaccurate. But we're going to start a new army since we already just finished up the building of this army. I mean, I think so. Wait, 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 oops. Oops, there's actually two, two more things we have to do, which is create one engineer. There we go. Now that we create one engineer, wherever that engineer spawns, we're going to instantly go have it go over here. And then once this uh, ships come over here across the strait, long live Le Plata. Long live the glorious Le Plata army. Yeah, please go deal with my rebels or your rebels. Whichever rebels there are, go deal with them. I don't really like rebels in my land. I don't really like rebels in your guys' land. So please go deal with them. By the way, I'm going to increase your guys' factory growth because I need you guys' factories and land to be working as efficiently as possible. Because if they aren't working as efficiently as possible, then I get pretty angry and I have to deal with it myself and that is annoying. So please, we're going to upgrade as much of the land as we can. There we go. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I don't like the fact that some of our... Some of this land is not being used to the most it can be. Because we need to make sure that we are completely on this just in case it does like a gigantic revolt in one of our vassal's lands. We need to make sure that we are on it. Like if there's a revolt, we're like, boom, bam, we're here. Okay, and the Philippines, and even though I haven't, do I believe we're going to be able to get the Philippines in time? I don't think we are, but I believe we still will influence them because I think the I think there'll still be a good stepping stone for if I ever want to do a future invasion of China. Because that'll just be good to have. And America officially owns all of Oceania, which means we have a slightly closer border, which makes it even more awesome. And let's see, we, we can stop encouraging Ecuador's influence. Like, seriously, we don't really have to encourage them at all. And you guys, yeah, just completely invest into our Filipino colonies. Get them as high as you can, get them as motivated as you can. And let's see, we have our one troop right here. Who actually, I could have a private steamer transport him. Uh, why not? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Why not? Let's just have a private steamer go over here, transport this. Since the steamers are way faster, it shouldn't be that long. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go send our armies over here. And as you guys can see, we're all just kind of waiting here. And next, we're going to try to see if we can island hop to the Philippines. Philippines, again, not very happy with us, but the more we increase relationship, the more they're like, yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we, it's a good idea to trust La Plata. La Plata does not have any interest in trying to screw them over, because we really don't. We really don't have any interest in screwing them over. I mean, I wish I could say we actually did have some interest in it, but we really don't. <laughs> we really just want the best for everyone and ourselves, so it's all good. If you let us into your country, it's all good. Now let's see. Mm. Panama dividends, of course, are very high. Huzzah! Huzzah, Austria. Austria, is Austria a world power again? Uh, democracy, a light of democracy. Platain, what country is this? Platain leaders are calling for governments. Uh, uh, this is for the best, I guess? Hmm. I, I don't know who we're making mad right now. I hope it's not somebody really powerful. Like, seriously, I, I really hope it's not somebody really powerful. Because I really don't want to deal with a powerful nation right now. Natural glycerin, kaboom! Let's see. Factories. Factories. Growth, 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 growth. It sounds like I'm saying gross now. It's actually I'm saying growth still. Growth, 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 growth. So you guys can grow, you guys can grow, you guys can grow. 
How many things over here can actually grow? I'll just increase it anyway, though. So maybe we can get more people there. Yeah, we just have to keep working at our comedy people. We want to make sure there's as much room as possible for immigrants to come here. So we want to make sure our immigrants are... Well, we basically want to make sure that everyone's just like, you know what, maybe we should come to the glorious land of La Plata. And how are we doing right now in immigration? Like, how are we doing right now? Wow. Okay, 2,500 to America's six. Oh, wow. We are stealing. We are trumping America right now in terms of freedom. Wow. We're evil. We're evil, man. We're evil. Okay, this ship's about to arrive in a couple weeks, which means we're going to get a little bit more stuff, which is going to be nice. Once this final troop arrives, then we'll start beginning our plans to go invade uh, China, which shouldn't be that hard. You guys all group up. You guys all group up. Get on the ships. Everyone on the ships, now we're going to go all the way to right here. And we're going to see what happens from there. It seems like the Philippines we somehow allied with. So that means actually we could just go straight to the Philippines. Which is actually a better, that's a better solution honestly. So let's see. Uh, you guys just go straight to the Philippines. And then you guys right here who are on the islands go straight to the Philippines too. Which means, oh wow, this is this is actually a good development. Which means we could actually, in a couple of days, we could actually start the war with uh, China. Be able to start invading, start taking what we want. Quickly take what we want before they can recover. And be like, oh, we actually China needs this. Or, oh, China can quickly recover. We also... I think also as a side goal, we might actually take the, this island right here of Formosa just because it helps expand our influence over here in the China, which is what we kind of need. We need to start expanding our influence and start making more people, pops, whatever, come to our country. Uh, Spain seems to be seriously gearing up for a war against the Philippines, but since the Philippines are soon going to be underneath our protection, we can almost guarantee them that they're not going to gain that control anymore. Because these guys are going to be under our protection, so they're probably not going to gain it. Philippines, added to our sphere, boom. See? Now no longer, now no longer will the will they get a free pass because now the Philippines are in our sphere. Which means we now protect the Philippines, so no one better deal, no one better destroy the Philippines. Because they're now our friends. And, yeah. Now we're just waiting for the uh, eventual arrival of our ships. Our clipper ships, which is going to take a little bit. I already realized this. Um, and in the meantime, I guess we can make a new army. I mean, we have enough troops. Just make a new army now. And just keep making new armies until we're, like, capped out again. And let's see. It seems like Venezuela is dealing with so many problems. I don't think they're going to recover anytime soon. Uh, we have a huge... Man, our coastline, man. Look at this. We have a coastline all the way from here all the way down to here. Oh man, it gives me goosebumps to think of how much we control right now. Like, seriously. It gives me goosebumps. Uh, and soon we're going to control this too. Hmm. We also control a little bit in the Philippines. Uh, prevent the organs? Yes. Please. Don't let the fascists raise into my country. I, uh... I, strict standards? You guys want strict standards? Okay. Good. There we go. That's the last little... I think that's the last event that's really going to cost me money. And support business. There we go. And Bunai. An army of Bunai is trying to fight against the Spanish. I kind of want to know the story behind that. But, um, let's see. Is there anything else we need immediately? No, I, I think we could just kind of just relax and keep going down the industrial line. Because we want to make sure we're a very highly industrialized nation. As you guys can see, our... Our ratings are not exactly great, but if we just keep industrializing, how unfortunate. Reduction of... Oh, Brazil, what are you guys trying to do here? 
you do realize I am gonna kick your butt if you actually try to fight me, right? Like, it, I, I I am way more powerful than you, and I'm I'm literally just kind of chilling out right now because of truth timers. But we could really kick your butt. I I have no problem with that. And let's see. Oh my goodness! What the heck? Wait, how did? What? No! No! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! What? How come these clippers aren't? I'm, I'm fully supporting my army. Why aren't these clippers doing anything? Oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. We might have just lost literally all of our ships in a stupid, stupid instance where I don't even get it. Mm. We literally just lost 37 troops to a stupid... I don't even know what that was. What was that? Okay, so two, four. Let's do that. We make all of our troops. One, two, okay. And then the cannons. Make about two, three, four. Four cannons and one soldier. There we go. Okay, so basically what that means, people, is that we're going to just have a one. No, we need at least two. I can't. I can't for the life of me do this with just one army. I don't know why these guys aren't healing. That's kind of annoying me. Why aren't you guys healing? Is it because you guys aren't in port? Let me try if I go inside a port. Maybe it'll heal a little bit better. Display a power. That's good. Oh, man, that, that annoys me right there. Let's see. Will you guys actually heal? No. You guys are not healing. So apparently that's not really helping. By the way, you guys can upgrade your... Your... Uh, things for me uh, we're going to I don't know what you guys can build but I might as well build something here spices wow there's absolutely not much you can build with spices <laughs> uh, we honestly could try to go fight the Chinese it's just like I said I'm not sure if we could win it I mean the Chinese uh, I don't want to go all the way back to <laughs> I don't want to go all the way back to my land it's literally very far away. Holy shoot, my my goodness, you are you are like a deathbed. I hope you can fix that, Puru. But it's literally like a deathbed all the way back to my country, so... Uh... Okay. You know what? I think I know the solution to this. And it's a little bit quicker than I thought. Is I'll just claim... What I'll do is I'll just claim the island right now. And that way we can just instantly claim it and take it. And if I feel like the war is going good enough, we'll go in and go take what we really, really want. Oh, and I better get these guys under... Take these guys off the boat. Yeah, there we go. So they don't stuff in any more nutrition. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. That, that annoys me right there. I just lost literally like 100 men due to some really stupid reason, I bet. Uh, yeah, I actually, actually, people, I do know the reason why. It's because I didn't dock them anywhere. But I honestly don't think that should matter because I literally was traveling through lots of, like, you know, good land. Like, Hawaii should have given them a major boost while they were traveling. Or, like, these islands right over here. This island should give them a major boost so that they didn't suffer so much nutrition. But they did, which annoyed me. So, let's see. It wasn't like I didn't know what happened. It's just, it annoys me. Okay, demand concession. I'm gonna steal Formasa from you guys. Uh, is Formasa not actually a uh, hmm? Is Formasa? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. All you guys gonna join in? Likely. Let's see who's gonna join me in my Qing Empire conquest. Okay, everyone get on the ships. We're gonna go kill the Qing. America, America, good. Okay, so America joined in. Chile, you guys want an alliance back? Good. Good, Chile. You guys realize that we are BFFs. At the heart of everything, we are BFFs. And let's start ripping up China now. Okay. Let's first get our little conquest over here. And start ripping them a new one. And now China is like 7th in the world power place. Partly why I kind of don't want to invade their capital. Let's see. We're suffering some nutrition. I'm not exactly liking this, but there's not much I can really do. And let's keep moving downwards. Let's see. Whoa. Strong. Oh, wow. Apparently, when I did this, I actually transferred some of the troops that from uh, Philippines to this land. Huh. That makes it really nice. And let's see. Should you guys not be suffering nutrition? You guys shouldn't be. There we go. And 
there we go we basically just conquered the war goal so that means we'll be getting a ticking war score and I don't think the Chinese have any ships so um yeah we're basically gonna win this it's just how much we're gonna win this by is dependent so now what we're going to do is I guess we're gonna just go across the shore and see if we can go steal the actual land I want I mean I'm a little bit weary of getting this land because like the Chinese, and the Chinese are scary. Chinese army, definitely very scary. And, yeah. We make one, we make one, one wrong move and all of our army is dead. So, we're just gonna go right here. And quickly go dark. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. Go send our army, go send our transports back here to go heal. And, we're gonna figure out what happens from here. Let's see what happens. So there's some Chinese men coming after us already. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get some ticking war score in our favor. Okay, there we go. Destroy those Chinese men. There we go. We got some war score in our favor. And let's see. We need to make sure what region would we want. We want this one. So actually, we're, we're conquering the wrong region. But I uh, don't really care too much because I'm just trying to make sure we don't have a gigantic... 2500 stack come and kill us. That's what I'm really, I'm really afraid of. Because the Chinese can raise a hell of a lot of troops. And we don't really, we have literally one army here fighting against them. We don't have the army to try to fight off that many men. So, we have to play it. This is kind of like, this is kind of like a situation where we're like, we're like great European powers, but we're surrounded by all natives. And we really can't do anything about it. Okay, there we go. I mean, we could easily destroy them, yes, but they eventually outnumber us, so. Like, who's the war goal? I mean, who's the... Why can't I propose peace? Uh, we are not the war leader. Ah! Oh, oh shyster, I just realized we are not the war leader. So, you know what that means, everyone? We have our good friends of America to help us out into... Uh... The unequal treaty. We have won a great war against the Qing Empire. Now we have faced a dilemma. Do we force the Qing government into negotiating tables, perhaps promising the return of some of the lands in exchange for a treaty port and reparations, or do we stay current course and perhaps alarm the other great powers or advance with the Qing? Make the deal with the Qing. Give us some prestige. Give us some money, influence, relations. All kind of forget it and infamy. Uh, province is not. Uh. Okay, apparently we're gonna gain some kind of land in Qing, and we gain 74%. You know, that seems like the better bargain right there, okay? And there we go, everyone. Apparently we just gained our own little sub-state into the Qing lands. I... Oh, and I also gained this land too. Sweet! Oh, I was about to say, maybe we're gonna have to give up this land because we gave... Because we did that land, but we're gonna also get to keep this land too, so that means... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is this is like the greatest Chinese expansion ever. Now we just need to go whip China a new one. And then I think we basically have a great day for us. Oh my goodness. I almost... Island of Formosa. Uh, now that we own the Island of Formosa, the local main population began to organize itself, presumably towards the end of breaking away. Oh. You know, I don't quite like that. <laughs> But I, I don't think I could stop you guys if I if I really tried to. Well, I probably could stop you guys. It's just I don't really want to. It feels kind of yeah. Okay, so yeah, everyone, this is we just got a little bit of an extra territorial totality over here in Qingxiao. It's about a 73k province. Not exactly great, but let's see how do we make out in terms of the other like extra territorial totality places, Hong Kong. Eh. I say we got a pretty big piece of land. I mean, the fact we got 74k people here is pretty good for just the one province. And from here, we basically got a good launching point to go to war for them in the future. So, you know, it's all a win-win situation. That's all I have to say. We now have better land stuff. And, yeah. I'm really... I'm really quite happy with this. This is like a great moment in our history. Orderly election, that's good, that's good. I wanted, we've been having some really critically 
scary elections the last couple times, so I'm glad this election was peaceful and uneventful. And Colombia's having a little bit of difficulty. Can they deal with it? Yes, they can. I don't think I have to deal with that. But, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another fun episode where you guys got to see a little bit of the Pla La Plata might. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.